Welcome, beloveds. Welcome to Ascension Live with me, Astarius Miraculi. Thank you for tuning in to co create with me. Today we are aligning with the resonance of freedom. You know, freedom is an amazingly important something and lately many of us have not been feeling a real connection to the resonance of freedom. We want to align today with the reality that freedom is not only those things that we experience within the outwardness of our external world. Freedom is also, and first and foremost, a feeling frequency that exists inside of us. So today our intention is to invoke the feeling frequency of freedom. That even when we are in a situation where we externally seem to not be free, there's a greater resonance of reality that exists within the central core of our being that is the resonance of freedom. Freedom is part of the very fabric of our being. Today, the moon is in Aquarius. And Aquarius is a freedom song. And so by virtue of the most exalted energies that exist within this moon in Aquarius, we want to call forth the resonance of freedom. I'm going to offer some tones and I'd like for you to align with me. You can even tone with me, but align with me in intention that these tones are an invocation of all of the freedom that is, was, or ever will be. resonance of freedom together all the way back into the heart of God upon the creation because we are qualitative extensions of Creator Almighty all of the freedom that is was or ever will be that exists within our Creator also exists within the microcosm of our individualized selfhood. That which is is necessary. That which is necessary shall be. There is no escape from the fulfillment of necessity. To make a vain attempt will find one in the spider web of Cyclicity. Around and around a constant revolution. Not learning the lesson or receiving the message 
that would afford one a divine solution. But as for every experience, yours or mine, we are the creators of necessity. In thought and word and deed you see. Never an element of chance, not for you or for me, because we project the causes. The effects become necessary. We create action, circumstance, and destiny. And now we know exactly what to expect through the universal law of cause and effect. But during the times when something negative would happen to us, our burdens seem so heavy and oh how unjust. We cursed and cried, how could this happen to us? But the seeming negative thing was a lesson and a message too that could be highly beneficial to me and to you. The lesson and the message were like a door mark pull, but our head was so hard and we were as stubborn as a bull, for there we were pushing on a door, Mark Pool. What are we doing? No wonder all the strife. Let us pass through the door of experience and it will serve us in life. So we open up the door. We stand tall and we face it. Our cup is somewhat bitter, but we we receptively embrace it. It's a very wise decision, for we cannot escape it. Yes, this effect was reaped from a cause we did so, and now is simply the time to pay the debt that we owe. So with calm assurance, we now walk through the door to be tormented by this experience no more, for the lesson we have learned and the message we did hear it. Oh, how it expanded our mind and quickened our spirit. Yes, that circumstance was no element of chance. We were only receiving our own, and that's why we embraced it. Behold the things of greater brilliance on the other side of the door that now dutifully and gracefully fulfill and replace it. To think we foolishly thought it was a disadvantage, what a blessing to realize that every seeming negative thing must always have an equal positive advantage. And now that all negative thoughts have been divinely released, our countenance is filled with that heavenly peace, a peace firm in the supreme spirit of eternal standing. I mean that unshakable peace that passeth understanding. And now whatever our fate, let us not be disturbed. It did not happen to hurt us, but to humbly serve despite the seeming pain and apparent distress. All situations are to uplift our consciousness. Now we deny the influence of anything distressing, for there's a lesson that is teaching and a message wisely expressing to please study us closely, for we are really a blessing. And now the knowledge has been bestowed upon you and upon me that whatever comes into being is born of necessity. No more will we be caught in the web of cyclicity. We're now empowered by the dance of cause and effect the universal law of necessity. And that was the first meaningful poem that I ever wrote. It's in my book, Miraculous Song of Ascension. And I wrote that poem, Cause and Effect, the Universal Law of Necessity at the tender age of, ten, of 22. I'm so honored that there was this awakening that was happening within me. I'm grateful to have consciously woke up at 22 and, and really celebrate those who have it from the womb like my daughter. So receive that vibration. My book is available via Astarius.com if you're interested in it. Most everything you hear me reciting are excerpts from my book. So this is about feeling the resonance of freedom. Again, I offer a tone to further affirm this freedom vibration.
my goddess. We're coming home to who we are. Ascended clan, I'm calling you. <clears throat> hmm. Ascended clan, I'm calling you to guide me on my way back home. I deeply yearn to now return and claim my ascension throne. The fifth dimension and beyond, inheritance above the sky, to heaven's call I now respond, in higher realms forever fly. Ascended clan, I ask for this, not only for myself. Let every being upon this earth partake of heaven's wealth, even under earth herself. She also would return to end the madness of this flesh of fire within us burns. Please help us to remember that we all are innocent. And by mercy and compassion unto heaven, earth is sent. Resurrection of ascension. And God is found in man and woman and we all are family members of the great ascended clan. The love of God within my heart is healed and set me free of love. That is because I am, I am, therefore I love me. Among the great ascended clan, I am eternally. <clears throat> oh my goddess, it feels so good. So I want to share with you what I've been holding here. This is uh, one of my latest creations. Uh, this is a staff. Many of you have seen my wands, but this one is a staff. So let me give you a full view of this. It's like, uh, like that. And then also if I were to step back a little bit and let you really feel the vibration of it. So this, um, this one here, I feel so much sacred pride around and uh, it's looking for a home. I didn't make it for myself. I made it for whoever's gonna come and claim it. So it is for sale. If you have questions about it, you can inquire via my um, website. I have a phone number that I can be reached by answering questions about it. And, uh, and then I have a great number of amazing wands that I just finished as well. Um, I'm gonna say my commercials now because I want to finish with the didgeridoo. I want to finish without commercials. So uh, I am Astarius Miraculi. I am available for intuitive astrological readings also with the tarot and I do sound healing transmissions with vocal harmonics and and with Reiki and of course the didgeridoo. 